Arab countries um, are increasingly using the dispute settlement system. But as with any uh, experience uh, that is starting to gain momentum, uh, there are a number of challenges that face uh, those countries, and not just uh, Arab countries, but other developing countries who have not yet uh, used the dispute settlement system uh, to, the ma to the maximum. Some of those challenges include uh, technical challenges, uh, financial challenges, and also challenges to do with awareness. Um, as you will know, the Arab world is quite diverse, so you have some countries who are more technically able than others. But in general, um, there are, there are matters such as uh, the ability of uh, a member uh, to uh, pursue their interests through the right uh, 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 qualifications, through, uh, through the provision of uh, uh, training uh, to those experts who are working on those disputes, um, and through general uh, capacity building uh, uh, strategies to create uh, uh, the ability and uh, to to create the, the legal expertise necessary uh, to represent Arab countries at the dispute settlement uh, 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 body. The other uh, challenge uh, is uh, financial in nature. You will know that uh, uh, legal expertise comes at a cost and not all uh, uh, members of the Arab world are uh, in a position to devote those financial resources that are necessary to pursue their interests at the dispute settlement system. Um, and the third challenge that I mentioned uh, is uh, the one to do with awareness, because a lot of those cases or disputes uh, start not just from the level of government, but also from the private sector. So in order for a dispute to start uh, uh, moving, it would need to be initiated through identifying certain uh, uh, problems uh, at the level of private sector. Uh, and so in order for that to, to happen, the private sector needs to be aware of the rights and, and, and uh, obligations of the various WTO members within the WTO, and to be able to then uh, 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 start or initiate the process for dispute settlement. So those are th three uh, main challenges that uh, the Arab countries face.